All right, this is page 110. Part two, we're going to do the bottom of the page. We have already done numbers five, six, and seven. So we're doing eight through 13. Uh, we'll just say right now we're going to skip the um, we're going to skip the check-in question. So you can write skip right there. And we're going to use a whiteboard here to solve these problems. Go ahead and use my whiteboard and do we'll start with uh, eight, nine, and ten. All right, number eight is two thousand one divided by 83 and 83 doesn't go into 2 or 200 I'm sorry it doesn't go into 2 or 20 but it does go into 200 twice I know that because 83 um, is almost 100 so it rounds up to 100 100 goes into 200 twice 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 8 is 16 I'm going to borrow from this 2 this is a 9 and this is a 10 10 minus uh, 6 is 4 and 9 minus 6 is 3 and bring down this 1 here and how many times does 83 go into 340? I think it might be 4, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to do it right here. 83 times 4. Might, that might be too big. We'll find out. Um, 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 1 is 33. And it's not too big. It's perfect. So um, the answer is 4. 4 times 83 is 332. And I'm going to subtract here. 11 minus 2 is 9. And I borrowed from that 4, so it's 3. 33 minus 33 is 0. So the answer is 24 with a remainder of 9. All right, let's check out number 9. 39,751 divided by 313. 313 goes into 397 once. 313 goes here and I subtract and I've got 7 minus 3 is 4 and 9 minus 1 is 8 and bring down this 5. How many times is 313 going to 845? It's only twice. I know it's not 3 because if I did 3 times 300 it would be 900. That would be too much. So it's going to be just twice. And I can actually do this mentally. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 2. And 3 times 3 is 6. And this is going to be a giant uh, remainder. But it's smaller than 313, and that's the key. So I'm going to borrow from this 4. This 4 becomes a 3, and this becomes 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 8 minus 6 is 2. We've got 219. But like I said, it's smaller than the divisor. So it is it is okay as long as it's smaller than the divisor. So I bring down this 1 right here. Now I have how many times is 313 go into 2191? And it's either 6 or 7. 7 times 300 would be 2100. So it might be 7. might be exactly 7. Let's try 7. 313 times 7. Here's why I think it could be exactly 7. 3 times 7 is 21. So this 1 would go here. So I might get no remainder. Let's find out. 3 times 7 is 7. Plus 2 is 9. And 7 times 3 is 21. So the answer is 2191. So it went in exactly 7 times. 7 times 313 is 2191, no remainder, so the quotient is 127. Remember we can check simply by punching in my divisor, 313, times my quotient, 127, and I should get 39,751. I do, so I feel good about getting that right. Number 10, 35,506. Divide by 438. 438 doesn't go into 3 or 35 or even 355, but it does go into 3550. How many times? I don't know. If I rounded this to 400, how many times did 400 go into uh, 3550? Maybe about 9. 9 times 4 would be 36, and it's probably going to be 8. It's definitely going to be 8. 438 times 8. I'm going to try that. Uh, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 6 is 30, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 is 37, and I feel like I did something wrong. There's, it's Yeah, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 is 35, so 3504, that's less than 3550, so I feel like I did that right, so I put an 8 here. And then I do 10 minus 4 is 6, and I borrowed, so this becomes a 4. 4 minus uh, 0 is 4. 
and 5 minus 5 is 0, and 3 minus 3 is 0. Now I have 466. 438 goes into 466 only once. 1 times 438 is 438. 16 minus 8 is 8, and I borrowed, so this becomes a 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So my answer is 81 with the remainder of 28. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move my whiteboard and reveal my next set of problems here. Got three word problems to do. In fact, I'm just going to have to move all those answers up. Sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes to make enough space. Got a whiteboard that's big enough for the whiteboard fits on the screen. I think that works. All right, three more problems. Number 11. During a food drive, a local middle school collected 8,982 canned food items. Each of the 28 classrooms that participated in the drive donated about the same number of items. Estimate the number of items each classroom donated. Estimate means we don't have to do the exact this word right here means we don't have to do the exact computation. We get to round these things. 8,982 is about 9,000. And divided by 28 is about 30. And then you simplify by dividing by 10. And then you do 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3 with these two zeros makes it 300. The answer is about 300. Why do we get to use about? Because it told me to estimate. Alright, number 12 is not going to say estimate, neither is 13. So these are going to be actual division problems. Number 12 says, a theater has 1,120 seats in 35 equal rows. That's going to be 1,120 divided by 35. How many seats are in each row? That is division. 35 doesn't go into 1 or 11, but it does go into 112. And I'm thinking three times, but let's find out. 35 times 3 is, 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. You get 105, which is less than 112. That's perfect. So I've got to put my 3 here. 3 times 35 is 105. Now subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 10 minus 10 is 0. Drop the 0. 35 goes into 70 twice. 2 times 35 is 70. The answer is 32, and it's a word problem, so we answer in a word. It says how many seats are in each row? 32 seats. All right, one more. Number 13. There are 1,100, I'm sorry, there are 1,012 souvenir paperweights that need to be packed in boxes. Each box will hold 12 paperweights. How many boxes will be needed? This is going to be 1,012 divided by 12. 12 doesn't go into 1 or 10, but it does go into 101. I think it's going to be uh, 8 times, because 8 times 12 is 96. I know my 12s, so 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 8 times 12 is 96. Borrow. Um, 11 minus 6 is 5, and 9 minus 9 is 0. Get to bring down this 2. 12 goes into 52 four times. 4 times 12 is 48. So I get a remainder on this one. And whenever you get a remainder, I'm going to go ahead and write my answer. 84 remainder 8. Whenever you get a remainder, I said that wrong. 84, remainder 4. Whenever you get a remainder, you have to uh, make sense of it. It says how many boxes will be needed. Well, 84 is the number of boxes that are needed, but the remainder means we have leftover paperweights. So uh, 84 boxes won't be enough. You're going to need at least 85 boxes. 84 boxes will be full, and then the remaining paperweights need to go into an 85th box. So you need 85 boxes. Whenever you have a word problem in division, and it's talking about how much you're going to need, you're going to have to round up. Okay, good job. You're done with page 110. You can move on to page 111.